two quadratic equations on the spot. The first one is x minus 6 in the parentheses, and then we square that, and that's equal to x. And for the second one, same thing on the left hand side, but on the right hand side, we have the number 25. So, which one's easier? Be sure you pause the video and do the easier one first. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one first, because this right here is definitely easier. Why? Because we have a perfect square on the left hand side already, and on the right hand side is just a number, so we can just go ahead and take the square root on both sides. This and that will cancel, and don't forget the plus or minus. That's pretty much the idea, right? Okay, so we see we have x minus 6, and of course square root of 25 is 5, so we will just break it apart into two equations. The first one is x minus 6, we make it equal to do the negative 5 right here, and then the other one, x minus 6, and let's do the positive 5 right here. Right? Plus minus, right? Two equations. From here, go ahead and add a 6 on both sides. So we get x is equal to negative 5 plus 6, which is 1. And for the second equation, we just add a 6 on both sides, cancel this out, and we get x is equal to 11. Alright, so that's it. Pretty straightforward. Can we do the same thing on the first equation though? Is it okay for us to just take the square root and also the square root? Oh, what do we do right here? We get a square root of x. We cannot figure that out. This right here we could, right? Square root of 25 is just a 5. Square root of x, it just makes our life more complicated. So don't do that here. Then what do we do? Well, do the fundamental. We want to have one side equal to zero and try to factor it if possible, right? So let's go ahead and multiply this out first. So I will write that down right here for you guys real quick. So I'll put it down right here just as I like some scratch work. So x minus 6 square means we do x minus 6 times x minus 6. So you see this times this gives us x square and then this times this gives us negative 6x. Let me just put it down on the top. And you see another one, negative 6x. So together we combine that, we get negative 12x. And then lastly, negative 6 times negative 6 will give us plus 36. So we expand the power right here and we get x squared minus 12x plus 36. And uh, that's equal to 0. Alright. Then, oops, no, not equal to zero, just kidding. I want you to have zero, but we don't have the zero yet. Equals x. How can we make it equal to zero though? Subtract both sides by the x, right here, right here. Cancel this out. So we are looking at x squared minus this and that is 13x, and then plus 36, and that's equal to zero. Now, factor this. Well. We need to have x times x to get us x squared. And we have to think about two numbers so that when they multiply, we get 36. And together, they add up to be negative 13. And the correct combination is negative 4 and negative 9. All right, so do the usual thing now. Make x minus 4, 0. And likewise, x minus 9 equals 0. So add a 4 on both sides. Cancel this out. First answer is 4. Second answer, just bring the 9 to the other side by adding the 9 on both sides. x equals 9. So here you have it, 4 and 9 for this equation, and 1 and 1, 1 for this equation. 